Here we can see the current version of the Modular Universal Mounting System or Dental MUMS that we use to teach our first year dental students about the core skills required for the use of rotary instruments. The beauty of this system is that we get to use a readily available popular children's construction toy in a way that allows us to cost effectively reuse existing teeth. As you can see, the teeth here have been used by students in different parts of the course where they are learning about occlusal proximal cavities, things like that. The current course, we're teaching the skills required before this even, which is just about how to use a handpiece, how to hold it correctly, the ergonomics of the handpiece, and its safe use for cutting predefined cavities. You can see here a simple rectangle that's been cut on the root surface that otherwise would have been wasted. The overall construction of this costs about a pound fifty to two pounds to make and allows us to reuse all the old teeth that we've used in other courses. There are a couple of advantages to this system as well which is if you apply too much pressure to this, the system falls apart. And that in itself can give the student some idea as to how much pressure they're actually applying with a handpiece. This is the first exercise that the students undertake when they're becoming acquainted with rotary handpieces. The system itself is made of a number of different components. We have one block here that we've drilled a couple of holes in, which allows us to essentially screw the teeth that we would normally use in the artificial arches inside the mannequin head. We also have two blocks here that we use to raise up the teeth, which allows us to move them around. This can be used to simulate several different areas of the oral environment simply by placing the blocks on different areas of the base plate. You can have them on the left side, you can have them on the right side. You can simulate anterior teeth as well. On the other side here, you can see that we have affixed a nut within the unit. This is important as it allows us to use this unit intraorally inside one of our mannequins. When we take off the top cover plate, we can see how this nut is affixed inside. Moving down to the base, we can see this is the essential unit. The initial versions that we had of this had a much smaller plate. And this much smaller plate meant it was less firm on a tabletop surface and so much harder to control. The other issue with this was that we could not mount this version within the mannequin head. We had a second version where we simply had a hole drilled in the plate and we had built our own custom block with the nut inside it. This block fits onto the plate and then we could mount this in the mannequin head However, using the system had significant errors and the block could have detached and sometimes the screws did not engage in it. Here you can see the modular universal mounting system mounted within one of our mobile mannequin heads. In this case, we're simulating the maxillary arch and the students can drill on the root surfaces wherever they want to in this arch. We can do it on the left, right, the anterior or posterior regions. There are a number of different bricks that we can get, which means that we could place the teeth in different areas and put different challenges in. One of the potential areas that we could improve this for the next iteration is we could replace these slightly cantered blocks with uh, ones that simulate additional teeth in the arch, which would allow the students to place finger rests on those blocks.